In this video, I'll show you how to compress large video files into insanely small ones without practically losing quality. This will be a good way for you to save up storage space, send video files easier and share them on social media more conveniently. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. First, if you don't have it yet, you'll need to download the Uniconverter. Go to videoconverter.wondershare.com and get it for both Windows and Mac computers. I won't show you the download and installation process because I'm sure you know how to do that. But once you're done with that, open it up and come back over here. All right, so this software actually has a lot of other features from a converter to an AI image enhancer through text, speech, voiceover generators. So you'll be able to use it for much more than compressing, but that's what we're gonna do today. So click on the compressor tool that is located right up here. When this window comes up, import the video and audio files that you need to compress. I only have video files here, but like I said, you can also import audio files if that's what you need to compress. In the next step, we're going to choose the compression settings. Down here, you may set up universal settings. So if you set like 10% here, all of the files on your batch list will be compressed to 10% of their original sizes. This is a fast and convenient way, but for more precise compressing, you can set up the values for each file individually. If you have both video and audio files on your list, it's definitely the way to go. So click on the settings button here. Now see this slider here? By moving it left and right, you can choose your compression percentage. The reason this part is green here is because this range is the most optimal one in terms of quality file size ratio. But now we're going to go really, really low. Now know that by extensively compressing like this, the file loses its flexibility to color correct, for instance, but from the outside, you won't see the difference. If you click right over here, you can choose from advanced settings. These are all set to the most optimal values by default. So you can leave them as they are, unless you know you need to change one of them. Okay, when you're done, as a final step before compression, choose an output folder where you can easily find your compressed files and then click on start all. And that is it. After the process is finished, you can click on the finish tab up here where you can easily access your compressed files. Now, alternatively, you can use the video compressor on media.io, which is basically the online version of the same tool. To access it, go to media.io and from the tools section, choose the video compressor. This tool also supports batch compressing, so you can upload multiple files at the same time. Similarly to the Uniconverter, here you can set up universal values for the output resolution and the compression size, or click on the settings icon here to choose your settings. From the compression methods, you can choose automatic, file size, and variable bitrate. I'd suggest you go with the variable bitrate one for the best quality with the smallest file size. With a slider, you can change the compression size, and finally, you can choose an output resolution. Click on OK, and finally click on Compress. First, your files will be uploaded, and then the site will process your files. When they're done, just simply download your files. All right, hope this video was helpful. If so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.